Hey everybody, it's showtime and welcome to the first event of our Summer Arts Fundraiser Series. So excited to be with you. And in a second here, I'm gonna bring Malika on. Malika Yates, she is Elite Myth Delaware Earth and the founder of the Global Ripple Effect Project. Um, and she is going to be doing um, a salad, her sensational summer salad demo in a second. Just wanted to tell you, about a few things that we have going on. If you decide to donate to our fundraiser this week, anytime today on through June 4th, you will be entered to win four tickets to our um, Wild and Scenic Film Festival on tour, which will be August 3rd. It's virtual, so anybody can attend. Um, and we'll also be planting a tree in, in your honor with Plant for the Planet Philippines. So we have lots of other fun stuff happening. Um, I will put the link to the donation page in the chat. And with that, let's get Malika on here. Hi, Malika. Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my home. Let me get you guys a little. OK, perfect. So now you guys can see. Oh, wait. Nope, I'm out of the camera. Here we go. Hi. So I love mixing my salads up. I go for anywhere from just veggies to a lot of fruit. So today we're gonna to incorporate a little bit of everything. So I will start with my salad base. Put it over so you guys can see. So you can start whatever base you like to use. You can have a spring mix, you can have just regular arugula, just spice it up, make it your own. Next, I will be using some of my favorite fruit. So right here, I have blueberries. And then, I don't know if you can see, I have mandarin oranges. So I'm really excited. And then for veggies, I have tomatoes. And a nice little cucumber over here. Now, keep in mind, everything you see here is all sustainable. So you see that I have my bamboo cutting board, my bamboo bowl another wooden bowl, and I have stainless steel glasses as well. So again, everything is just sustainable. What I'm gonna do right now is just chop up this cucumber. Actually, let me wash this off first. Okay, so I washed it off. Shake, shake, shake. I don't have paper towels, so no judgment. I just normally use my towel, which is in the dryer right now. And these cucumbers can be used for more than just your salad, ladies. If you've ever had like a long day where you're working and you're like super tired the next morning, chop up two cucumbers and put them on your eyes. These cucumbers work miracles for your eyes. They always help me. All right. So now that I chopped my cucumbers up, I can choose to keep them in a circular shape, which is exactly what I normally do anyway. I'm just going to put my salad base into the bowl. And then what are, what are you using for your salad base? So it has a little bit of everything. I have some spinach in here, which I absolutely love. I was gonna make a spinach salad, but I was like, some people might not like spinach and I like a little bit of everything. So I was like, well, let me just spice it up and stay true to myself. So I have spinach, I have red cabbage and a little bit of arugula in here as well. So next we're just gonna add these cucumbers in because why not? Cucumbers are delicious. And then, if you're like me, you love tomatoes. So we're just gonna throw those tomatoes on in here. Next, we're gonna pop in our blueberries. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect like an acai bowl. If you guys have tried acai bowls, they are absolute, like my number one summer go-to treat. And then I'm just gonna pour in my mandarin oranges. Now there was a little bit of juice from the mandarin oranges in there, so I already am a little spoiled on that front. And 
And let me just pop on over here and grab my, uh, what is this called, dressing. Give me one moment, guys. I know you guys see those strawberries over there on the stove. I don't know, comment below. What do you guys think? Should I throw these strawberries in? I'm getting my dressing right now. So my dressing is a strawberry dressing, which is why I was asking, do you guys think I should put the strawberries in? And the answer should always be yes, why not? When in doubt, add more berries. And who doesn't love strawberries? If you don't, please let me know because we need to find a substitute. You can you can vote in the chat if you want strawberries in the salad. So right now I'm just cutting my strawberries up. You don't have to get fancy, you know. Just a simple slice will do. Just add them in. So I'm gonna cut this one up a little bit more. So what I love to do, you see, my salad is a combination of a little bit of everything but no meat because right now I'm just showing you how to make a meatless salad it's super delicious and nutritious you have vitamins A K and C in here so and much more all right so this is what your finished product is gonna look like so good and last but not least we just add a little bit of or dressing in here. All right, I said a little bit, but you know, I had to splurge. All right, and now this is what the finished product looks like. Wow, that's amazing. And both um, Nan and Coralie, Nan said sure for strawberries and Coralie says I vote for strawberries. Um, so yeah, what was that dressing that you put on there? That looks so amazing. Strawberry dressing. Can you hear me? Okay, great, it's strawberry dressing. So I was gonna do a raspberry walnut vinaigrette, which is normally my go-to, but I actually found strawberry dressing and I was like, these still my heart, there is strawberry dressing out here in the stores. So obviously I had to get it. Now this salad, uh, it cost uh, under $20. However, as you see, the ingredients that I brought, they're gonna last me throughout the entire week. So you can eat like less meat on like a reasonable budget. So no matter what your budget is, like this will just last you for a week or two. And like I said, you can use these ingredients for other things. If you wanna just grab some blueberries for a snack, you know, they do help build your immune system. They're high in antioxidants. So these are like a great treat. If you haven't tried blueberries, please go to your grocery store tomorrow and definitely buy some blueberries. Tag us, let us know how you like them. These are a game changer in your diet. Okay, so Malika, can you go through the ingredients one more time? Yes, so you start with your salad base. Again, mine was arugula, baby spinach, and uh, red cabbage. Then I added in my blueberries, tomatoes, cucumbers, and mandarin oranges. And I followed that up with a strawberry dressing. And again, make sure that we have your email address and we will definitely send you this recipe. I will also give you like some key facts about the ingredients that we use today, how they do help improve your gut health, which ones are high in antioxidants, which ones have vitamin A, K, C, and D. You will get all of that. As long as we have your email address, I can definitely get that over to you. You're on mute. Fun. <laughs> we have this little feedback, so we're trying to only have one of us unmuted at a time, which is not easy. Um, <laughs> but uh, that is awesome. So I put that uh, I put that recipe kind of more or less in the chat, so you've got it there. And um, a healthy vote by me shouldn't count. Um, by Nan currently eating fried chicken and drinking red wine. Okay, so I think if you add this salad next to it, it will be a full, full compliment. 
Um, all right. So thank you for joining us. And before we sign off, Malika, will you talk a little bit about your nonprofit? Because what we're doing today is getting you excited about this thing, like this thing of sharing information. And sometimes it can be very simple, but it can be really powerful when you bring your, your voice and your heart to the community and, and inspire people to, to learn something new. So that's what we're doing at Green Team Academy. And that's what the Global Ripple Effect Project is about. So Malika, do you want to go ahead, tell us a little bit about what what Global Ripple Effect Project is and when people donate, what that money is going to? Yes, thank you so much, Joan. Hi, everyone. Like Joan said, my name is Malika Yates, and I am the founder of the Global Ripple Effect Project, INC. I founded my nonprofit because during the pandemic, I noticed that almost all of the nonprofits I volunteered with were closed, but people still needed help. So I saw a problem, and I knew I wanted to be the solution. I was able to then reach out to my uh, Newcastle County president and secure eco-friendly um, masks, which are reusable masks from an eco-friendly COVID kit, and we were able to distribute over 3,000 eco-friendly COVID kits during the pandemic. We also go to food deserts and we create urban gardens. Outside of that, we hand out fresh fruit and vegetables in these food deserts, making sure that everyone has access, not to just essential items, but healthy foods as well. Then, for those who attend our urban gardening workshop and learn how to, you know, keep up with the soil health, make sure the crops are growing properly and harvest them, they will go home with the at-home garden kit. So it doesn't just stop there. They actually are able to grow fresh fruits and vegetables at their home as well. Outside of that, I'm pretty sure if you follow me on any of my social media platforms, whether it's my Elite Miss Delaware page on both Facebook and Instagram or the Global Ripple Effect Project, INC, both on Facebook and Instagram, you see that we are doing community cleanups because clean air and clean water is a right that we should all have access to. So we make sure that we're out there in every community globally doing community cleanups because that is gonna be essential, not just for our air quality, but our water quality as well. So we do those cleanups. Outside of that, if you were a volunteer about two and a half weeks ago, you remember that we planted trees in an under-resourced community. And again, that was to help with our air quality as well as our water quality. So if you would like to learn more, make sure that you follow us on both Facebook and Instagram at The Global Ripple Effect Project, INC. You can also email us at info at The Global Ripple Effect Project, INC. And if you would like us to come to your school or your community, let me know because our eco education program does teach communities and students globally how to live an eco friendly, healthy, and sustainable lifestyle filled with kindness. As you see here, everything that we use is sustainable. So these simple tips will help you just get a few ideas what you too can do in your everyday lifestyle to spark change globally. Thank you for running through that. And one of the reasons Malika and I love working together. And I think one of the reasons is because we, it's so fun. <laughs> it's like, it's just, I think a lot of the stuff with the environment has a very negative um, kind of vibe to it. And it's really hard to attract people when you're just doom and gloom all the time. But if you can show people like a beautiful salad like that, or how to grow your own food or how to start your own initiative in 90 days, which is what we're doing with the 2021 International Climate Action Challenge, then it, it is, how is that Malika? Pretty good. <laughs> um, it's, it's just really fun stuff and it's great to be part of this whole community of people that are working together. So if you've been a little bummed out or you wanna do something kind of cool, if you start by doing a donation that would be super helpful. $5 is enough. That's the minimum it has on Facebook. If you do that, we'll um, get $3 of that to plant for the planet in the Philippines to plant a tree on your behalf. So how cool is that? Um, so thank you so much, Malika, for joining. And remember, everybody, if you join 
if you donate by June 4th, you'll also be entered to win four tickets to our Wild and Scenic Film Festival on tour, where we're going to be featuring youth and BIPOC stories in these amazing films. And I think you're really going to enjoy that. It's a hundred dollar value. So that would be a really neat thing um, to share with your community. And so with that, um, any other last thing that you want to say, Malika, before we sign off here? Well, I am actually trying to get one of my uh, songs from Spice Girls to play so we can have a quick dance party because who doesn't want to spice up their life, especially when you have a delicious salad? I do not own the rights to this song, but I promised you guys a dance party. Man, this song is for you. All right, so Malika is dancing us out on that note. So yeah, that's the thing. Come on, let's have fun. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's work together and and really, you know, make the world a better place and and have make our lives better doing it. All right, Nan says she's dancing. So we got the party started. And yeah, thanks Malika for jumping in and starting our summer arts fundraiser series. Next Tuesday, we have Lori Dameron, who is going to be, she's a singer songwriter. She'll be playing her guitar. And um, the following week, we have Carola Parikh, who is 14 years old. She's gonna be showing us how to make bath bombs and bath salts based on what she has done with the company that she's co-founded, which is super cool, Glow and Gather. We have the Paint and Sip on June 22nd. Uh, we've got some other stuff happening um, in, in July leading up to our August 3rd Wild and Scenic Film Festival. And the August 1st application deadline for the 2021 International Climate Action Challenge. We do have scholarships available. So if you want to launch your eco initiative in 90 days, then that is the place for you. All right. Thanks, Malika. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great evening. Ciao, ciao. Bye, everybody. <laughs>